Hey, what's up you guys, it's Rel. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing something different. I like Fenty Beauty. I wanted to try and recreate their tutorial. Let's scratch that hole. I like Fenty Beauty and I wanted to try and follow their tutorial. They have great content, great tutorials, great instructions on how to actually use their products and I love that about them. I personally slap on some concealer whenever I need to put on some makeup and cover up like these creases that I don't like and kind of reduce like how low my bone is here. But we are just gonna try and follow their entire tutorial today. Let's get into the video. This dude is so handsome, like he, he looks flawless. By the way, if you haven't already, please feel free to subscribe, you know. It's free. Throw in a like. Like the video if you want, I mean. That ain't no problem. It's gonna help the channel grow. It's gonna get the right people to see it, you know? Yeah, let's get into the tutorial. Let's see what the first step is gonna be. They are starting off with the Fenty Beauty Matchstick. Um, I actually have the same shade as the model, which is interesting. Uh, it's in Cocoa. They are magnetic and stick to like the other products and stuff, which is really cool. I don't even, was that a fail? They stick to each other. That's all that matters. So just rub my finger over it, kind of get it a little bit warm. I have a mirror beside me, but I can't really see too well. So it's a little bit on my finger, right? And then I'm just gonna do what he's doing and use it like under the eye. Uh-oh, let's see how that works. I have a lighter spot here, so I'm gonna cover that. So yeah, he really just pressed it in around the eyes to make it look like soft and more like awake. It's super light coverage. As y'all can see, I have like a light it's weird, it's a scar, but it's like a light spot under my eye, so I don't even know if we'll get enough coverage to cover that. If I were using my concealer, it would definitely be covered, but this may just be to like brighten. Can we also talk about men wearing makeup? Obviously, you guys know, if you're not new to my channel, that I'm a gay male. Straight or gay, like men wear makeup. If you have seen any male in a professional ad campaign, in a movie or anything like that, nine times out of 10, they have makeup on their skin. When I was younger, I didn't used to think that was a thing. I was like, oh man, this dude just has like really good skin. He's like flawless. No, okay. They wearing a little bit of some type of light coverage. You know what I mean? Just know that it's okay to throw in a little bit of makeup. It doesn't make you any less of what you already are, okay? Can y'all tell a difference already? This kind of looks like I may not even need to use my concealer anymore. Wow, I feel like that woke me up a little bit. Just to see how that little part right there just woke me up. Like I was looking sleepy before, now I look awake. So without even going any further, let's just kind of take a moment, see how we looking, what we giving. Is it giving like, I was born this way? <laughs> Is it giving, <laughs> Is it giving? maybe it's Maybelline? Let me know in the comments how we feeling, like what we thinking. Cause I'm not giving you beat face, it's very light coverage, you know what I'm saying? But you know. Now they brought out the concealer. The technique that he's using here is basically to put one pump on, shear it out with your fingers. I've been using my fingers this entire time because they say that it helps to make the makeup look a lot more natural and it kind of melts into your skin. That's what we're gonna do. So I'm just gonna be really careful with it. Oop. So we're going to shear that out. It does not look like a match on my hand, but I promise you it is. It looks so much darker right here. I mean. I look so much darker than it, but like the inner parts of my face are light. So I'm just gonna watch how he places it. So he's just like putting the coverage in the center around the forehead a little bit. We got a five head over here, so bear with me. I don't know how this is gonna turn out. We gonna try, we just gonna see. Hopefully it like oxidizes. Yes, I know that term. It seems like it is. Or it's blending very, ooh. Y'all, did we mess up? Hold on, let me, let me give it a chance. Let me let it breathe. See, here's the tricky thing about like natural looking makeup on guys, right? It makes your base really like flat, but if you're trying to look natural and not do too much, you probably don't wanna go in and add like any contour or anything like that. So I don't know, it's tricky. Being that I have a beard, I do feel like that's some type of natural contour anyway. <laughs> it kind of helps the face out in that regard. So we'll see. Um, right now I'm just kind of following his steps of blending everything out and all together and making sure there's coverage. Um, I'm gonna go up here, kind of get that middle line. I guess I should connect it to my nose. I just wanna make sure everything is blended all the way out. Are we gonna look carried away? What's going on? See, and that's the thing. This dude has like a three head. I have a five head. 
So I don't know exactly how well that's gonna take care of the lines. So let me see how I'm looking. I'm not mad at that. It looks pretty freaking flawless. I feel like I, I feel like I did that. Look at how he ate that. He did say to get around the nose because it tends to get red right there. And so I'm just gonna make sure that it's blending around the edges for me because that's where like my hair grows. So it tends to be pretty dark right there. Next time I will, if I ever do like a get ready with me, first of all, let me know if you're interested in like a male get ready with me. Is that like a thing? Can I like make that a thing? I don't know if that's a thing. Whatever, we gonna make it a thing. So next time I do something like this, I'll have like a small mirror up here and it kind of help out and I can see exactly what I'm doing a bit better. I think it's given what it's supposed to have gave. What y'all think? <laughs> Is it hitting? I think it might be hitting. I don't know. Mm, mm, mm. I'm feeling like a mm, star. Mm, 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 mm. Uh. So he's going in around the chin. That's because he has no facial hair. So if I didn't have facial, actually, I could go under my chin right here. So I have hair that grows in, but I also have dark spots. So let's try that. Let's try and use some coverage for that too. I just have scars that, honestly, when I first started growing facial hair, I was like, why is it growing so low down my neck? But I got neck for days, long neck. Oscar's looking at it. Yeah, I got ingrown hairs. I get ingrown hairs very easily. They are not fun at all. That is so cool. You see how I just kind of evens out the complexion, even with like the little hair that I still have there. If I were ever having a photo shoot to where that was visible, that would just help me out tremendously. So they use um, a sponge. I don't have the Fenty sponge with me today. So I'm not gonna use that. We're just gonna use these fingers and press it in. All right, so next we have the Invisimat blotting paper. This is actually pretty cool. So if you're ever out like in the middle of a shoot or it's just throughout the day and you're getting a little bit oily, this does like a really good job of just like catching that oil so you're not super duper shiny. It's also refillable, which is really cool too. So you can just keep the container and then purchase the new paper if you need to. And that's pretty darn cool if you ask me. All right, now they are moving on to the Invisimat blotting powder. So it comes in this case here. Um, there is actually plastic there too. So I'm not gonna use this right now because in the tutorial, they're just kind of showcasing how to use the brush. So here, put this down. And they're kind of just like dusting it. So I can tell that it's not actually like a setting powder, but it is like the blotting powder, like the name. So you probably use this just to like, ooh, is that too white? Just to kind of mattify everything if you were to get too shiny. It does feel really soft. The model mentions this too, but it feels extremely soft. That's that, I'm gonna wrap that up. Magnetic. So that's pretty much it, you guys. Shout out to Hector Espinal. I believe that's how you say his name right, for providing this tutorial. It was very, very informative. I like the results. I've definitely tried to do this before on my own, but it's cool to just see the steps before you can be able to follow them and have the result come out. We will see how clockable I am <laughs> after I get done editing the video and I can actually see the footage up close. But from what I can see now in the mirror in front of me, I think it looks pretty good. I think it's it looks like skin, you know what I mean? It doesn't look, it's seamless, right? But it doesn't look like a lot. Yeah, if you wanna just stick to the matchstick and put that under your eyes, I'm definitely okay with that. You can do something like that just to look a little bit more awake. But yeah, thank you guys for checking out this video. If you liked it, please give me a big thumbs up, okay? Drop me a comment too. And we got more content coming, so make sure comment. What? I don't wanna be on here and talk it proper. I don't want to today pronounce any words and use the big words. But Chinese, see ya. And we have more content coming, so make sure you are subscribed. Peace out.